A handful of former Toronto Blue Jays are on hand signing autographs for the kids. Hall of Famer Roberto Alomar is here, along with his dad, Sandy Sr. And there are other familiar faces from the 80s and 90s, like outfielder Lloyd Mosby, third baseman Rance Mullenix, and closer Dwayne Ward. It's a big thrill for these kids to get a ball, bat, or baseball card signed by some of the game's famous players. Who's your favorite guy? Uh, probably Sandy Alomar. Why is that? Because he's been in the league for a long time and knows a lot. Uh, you're a little young for Sandy Alomar, aren't yeah. they? I mean, he goes back to, what, the 60s or something? Yeah. Probably got to say Roberto Alomar because he's infielder just like me. So I look up to him a lot, listen to what he says. Can you switch hit like him? No, no. Uh, hopefully one day, one day going to work on that. Master hit right-handed first, and then I'll work on left-handed. This is actually from my grandpa's friend's collection. This is my first home run of the season. This is just a hat that we have. We take like the last 30 minutes of day two always and try to sign autographs for all the kids and make sure we give them a photo of something they can remember it by and they can move back, you know, look at it 10 years from now, 20 years from now, hopefully after they've had a big league career. So you know what, thank God I had these guys come in here and thank God the Toronto Blue Jays, you know, are, are willing to go across this country and put on Honda Super Camps. It's so strong though. Don't get scared. Bring your heart. That's it. No more. Great, that's the way you gotta swim, okay? The Blue Jays Honda Super Camps are three day camps for 10 to 16 year old ball players. The former major leaguers hope to improve the youngsters' batting, fielding, and pitching skills. Second base, two out, boom! Oh, guys, guys, guys! If he yells, I got it, where are you gonna go? You're gonna go to second base. I'm walking like this, I'm gonna go, boom, I'm pulling it. I'm pulling it. Look at yourself in the mirror and do it. I pitch and I play shortstop and they were kind of teaching us about balance um, for pitching and keeping an eye on the target. And for shortstop, they were teaching us how to turn double plays, backhand, forehand kind of stuff. In the outfield, picking up a, picking up a ground ball and throwing it into the cutoff quick and stuff. Oh, it's just fundamentals, man. We're just having fun and hopefully somebody will get one thing out of it. That's what it's all about. But these kids are great, outstanding, really. It's always good just to see them, you know, involved in this type of event. They have been very fortunate that they get a lot of knowledge. They have a lot of different pitcher, hitters, uh, you know, outfielders, infielders. Canada's made great strides over the last 25, 30 years with the youth program, and that's very apparent. A lot of the kids here uh, have uh, very good mechanics. But, um, you know, we see a lot of common flaws that we just try to correct, try to keep it simple remind them constantly they seem to need a lot of reinforcement. Don't be afraid. Take charge. You have to take charge when you play the game of baseball. And it's not just skills training they're learning here. Baseball, after all, is a thinking man's game, and mastering the mental aspect is often critical to succeeding. I kind of learned about what it takes to make it. It's not really about talent, it's just about dedication, and you got to work hard to make it. Like, talent is good, but if you don't, if you don't work hard, you're never going to get anywhere. The most important part of the game, actually, once you have uh, mastered the skills part of it or the mechanical side of the game, is then how well do you think during the course of the game? Do you have a plan when you're a hitter? When you're on defense, are you thinking, keeping up with what's going on? tendencies that hitters have, pitchers have, etc. Your first step is your best step. And sometimes your first step is going to be your only step. Because when the game speeds up, you're going to be in trouble. I'm going to throw the ball to Coach. I'm coming up here getting my balance. OK, haven't got it yet. I'm going to start again. Boom, I got balance. Now I'm going to throw that ball. I'm going to let that thing go a little bit. I think you can learn as much about the game, not more, but as much, as much about the game talking about it as you can playing it. Because I think you sit there and talk to people, you get different ideas, you get different, you know, different uh, views of how to how to go about something. You know, there's always more than one way to skin a cat. How about take up, take in as much information as you possibly can, and try this, try this, try this. What's the worst case scenario? You go back to doing the way you did it. Okay, but I mean, it's just we got to try to find a way to get these kids to a higher level of baseball.